guys uh, welcome so let's continue uh, with ignition system of piston engines so ignition system so ignition system uh, of piston engine is fairly simple it's a dual ignition system not as complicated as one would think and uh, i have a diagram for this as well let's look have a look at it so this is called the magneto system all right so it's uh, this one is a single system we'll have generally we have two of these okay so all aero piston engines are fitted with dual ignition so the two electrically independent ignition systems now what are the components i'll just uh, name out the components here and of course you can see them anyway then we'll discuss uh, functions of each so these are spark plugs here distributor which will maintain the firing order this is a primary circuit here it has a horseshoe magnet and this works on the principle of magnetic uh, induction all right and uh, then there is this contact breaker condenser which helps us in uh, relieving load and this is the ignition switch this is a switch that actually keeps the circuit off or on the whole circuit together and then there is circuit secondary circuit due to which uh, through the magnetic induction electromagnetic induction caused by this circuit primary circuit induces into the second secondary circuit so let's just uh, mechanical linkage is there that's all right so let's just uh, discuss uh, one by one what exactly each of them do all right it's very simple okay cool so now let's start with uh, i'll just write points and then we'll just go on like that easily so it is two electrically independent independent ignition systems okay and uh, each cylinder has two spark plugs fed by two separate magnetos so as you could see now generally a four uh, piston cylinder here uh, so there are four pistons here so th this is one circuit there will be a, another circuit to this side as well so th why why is this done is so that it inc uh, you know reduces the risk of engine failure caused you a faulty ignition okay so there are like you know two spark plugs uh, running from two different circuits all right so that is done now let's discuss about the magnetos as well magnetos so magnetos are what are magnetos they are self self contained engine driven electrical generators now they they produce a series of you know extra high tension voltage electrical sparks at the spark plugs and the distributor that i was showing uh, puts them into firing order okay now eht the eht is called your extra high tension now the magneto what what does the magneto does is now uh, what does the magneto do is it combines principle of permanent magnet generator and the step up transformer okay so that's the that's how the magneto is the whole the whole circuit actually works now what happens is a small magnetic field in the primary coil as, as i was discussing it consists of uh, you know few hundreds of turns of thick wire so in the primary circuit that is right here this one the primary circuit is right here so there are you know hundreds of turns in this so what happens is this is since this magnet is there it is rotated continuously so if you have an engineering background this would be very fairly simple to understand so now what happens is if, uh, this is made to collapse at regulated intervals by the opening of pair cam operated con contact breaker points 
so when this is moving around this is it's basically going for an alternate alternate uh, circuit collapsing is already meaning what is happening is few hundreds of turns of thick wire is made to collapse at regular intervals due to the contact breaker this mag magnet that is turning it will alternate every half cycle of the generator okay so now what happens with that is this will obviously induce current induce current so the primary circuit circuit works with a horseshoe magnet so that does is induces current into the secondary circuit now what as the magnetic uh, the as the primary circuit uh, collapses now what happens is the primary magnetic field primary magnetic field collapses regular at regular intervals regularly the lines of magnetic force caused in the primary circuit induces a current in the secondary circuit this induces a high eht voltage extra high tension voltage into the circuit so this is basically your actual this is this whole thing is called electromagnetic induction now this uh, this uh, eht that is induced into the secondary circuit okay the induced voltage in the secondary circuit uh, is then taken to a distributor at, uh, at where the you know the firing order is set depends on different engines if I if you remember the previous videos I discussed the firing orders are 1, 3, 4, 2 or whatever it depends on the type of engine you are uh, using so the distributor distributes that to the sparking plugs in the firing sequence okay and the most important point here is the contact breaker contact breaker and distrib distributor rotate rotor rotate at half engine speed okay this is very important all right so that's what about uh, magnet to the whole circuit is now there's the other few uh, points that are there is now there is something called as a condenser uh, in that if you could see i'll just write a few points on that as well condenser so condenser the it's the function is to prevent to prevent burning across this contact breaker and to assist creating EHT extra high tension voltage in the second secondary circuit of course by causing a rapid change of flux in the primary coil these terms are yeah it may seem little uh, you know newer and everything but it's actually not required as such you just need to understand what are the functions of these guys they uh, are a real uh, really actually electronics or electrical engineer uh, will be able to you know uh, understand this really quickly but uh, as a pilot you just need to understand what are the functions of these and uh, that's what is generally asked as well okay that's the function of the condenser which is by the way a capacitor of uh, required capacitance uh, depends on the engine again okay so oops yeah so and uh, what how how does that uh, this thing work is the capacitor capacitor is fitted in parallel parallel with the uh, con con CB that is the contact breaker and the ignition switch all right so now the uh, the if you now understand the most important thing the magneto works is the rapid collapse of the flux in the primary coil okay if the primary circuit with, with the help of the magnet is collapsing rapidly then there will be an induction of voltage into the secondary circuit so this capacitor uh, parallelly 
uh, and this capacitor what happens it is opens opens charges across the CB and the ignition switch allowing this uh, this you know what happens the current uh, in the primary coil ceases to flow okay then the because of this opens up the current in the primary coil ceases to flow allowing a very rapid collapse in the flux therefore it avoids and uh, avoids uh, arcing at the CB as well now another another uh, component we were discussing was uh, ignition switch this is like as direct as it can be a if it is grounded the magneto is off because this the, the whole circuit is just grounded directly and if it is not grounded the whole primary the magneto is on the whole the whole primary and the secondary circuit will work okay now there's something called as a dead uh, cut check if you're already flying you will know what a dead cut check is it's carried out uh, on a slow running this check ensures that the pilot has a control of the ignition before actually carrying out ignition checks at higher engine speed so the rpm must drop but engine must not shut down when you're switching from one magneto at a magneto at a time so that's all uh, uh, about ignition i'll just check if i have couple of more points to uh, yeah you can also uh, okay so i'll just write these points they're not uh, really necessary but uh, you can always have extra stuff up your sleeve so for initial start now the armature can be rotated by battery hand swing prop or induction vibrator or impulse couple which is spring loaded so initially the ignition uh, switch needs a initial bump initial start that's the armature can be rotated by either the battery itself hand swing prop the most commonly used is this impulse couple which is spring loaded that's how it actually starts another important point sequence of ignition switch is off right left both and start okay so and uh, if if there is a, if the grounding is faulty of faulty of the aircraft the aircraft won't shut down okay if grounding faulty because if you remember here if the if it is grounded the magnet is off so if the grounding is faulty aircraft won't shut down okay that till basically till the fuel is uh, fuel switch is cut or the fuel runs out whichever depends on the aircraft type okay so uh, that's all about uh, ignition system and this is obviously called a dual ignition system because you have uh, two uh, independently working systems all right so let's uh, we will be doing in the next video we'll be doing fuel system which is again another just a theoretical lesson as well there's not much to be discussed in that as well we'll, we'll do a fuel system and fuel mixture together so that it completes off uh, a big uh, a chunk all right so apart from that that's all on this video L and like it share it 
if you liked like the video of course i hope you guys are uh, learning and uh, there's a quiz on this as well uh, just uh, hit the quiz button uh, in the description or the link mentioned here and i'll see you guys in the next video take care and like the facebook page and subscribe to the youtube channel as well take care guys bye bye